Great. Well, happy Friday to everyone. Um, this is Maria. Some of you already know me. Um, before we get started, I want to let you know that we will be sharing the recording of today's session with you. Also, if you have any questions that arise during the pre presentation, um, please enter them in the QA tab at the bottom of the Zoom console. Any questions that we don't get to today, we'll follow up with you afterwards uh, via email. So, gonna, okay. So one of the endeavors that I'm involved with, with is an e-commerce community called Commerce Blend. Commerce Blend is a community of merchants and e-commerce thought leaders designed to give you a competitive advantage in growing your business. Throughout human history, those with the best tools have always thrived, and we now have over 8,000 companies within the e-commerce ecosystem, each with a different set of tools to improve your business. At Commerce Blend, we will be connecting you with companies that we think will have the greatest potential impact and inviting them to educate the community through these Lunch and Learns. So today's thought leader is Kayla Seller from Hi, Kayla. How's it going? Hi, Maria. I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Thank you. Very excited to have you here and joining us and taking some of your time to share, of your, share all of your updates and news and announcements with us. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, Thank you guys for having me. Great. So the topic of today's discussion is going to be accelerating your growth with social proof. Um, Yupto helps you accelerate your growth with a full suite of solutions for customer reviews, visual marketing, loyalty program, referrals. Um, so, you know, like you have uh, only one package with, with these guys and I'm sure you, you'll be pretty well covered. So without further, further ado, um, here is Kayla from Yupto. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so she can take over. Perfect. Thanks so much, Maria. I'm going to share my screen now. Just confirm with me that you can see it. I do see it. I go it. into presenter mode here. Perfect. Uh, well, hi, everyone. Thank you, Maria, for the introduction. Um, as she mentioned, I'm Kayla Sally from Yotpo. I manage agency partner relationships. Um, and I'll be walking you guys through a little overview on kind of who we are, what we do, and um, we'll jump into some live examples, too. So bear with me. I will not show you slides for the whole time here. Um, we'll kick things off just with an overview of Yapo and who we are. Uh, we're actually a Tel Aviv-based company, so we're headquartered in Tel Aviv with a really large presence also in New York. Um, that's where I'm based. We've got over 350 employees now. And uh, Maria mentioned the idea of social proof. That's really what we're trying to help uh, brands build through our product set. So our bread and butter is really working with direct-to-consumer brands um, that are selling online in the e-commerce space. Uh, we have over 4,500 clients and we've experienced pretty substantial growth since we were founded in 2011. Um, our full set of products, uh, you'll hear me kind of speak about each of these products individually, uh, but we're, we started off with reviews and we've really grown um, from that into, you know, we've got a visual marketing suite, a really robust insights tool that I'll touch on. And then we acquired a company called Swell last August, so August of 2018. Um, and really this kind of added to our suite, both referral and reward program. On the right here, you'll see just some of the brands that we work with. Um, like I said, over 4,500 clients, so lots of direct-to-consumer brands, but different verticals, all the different goals. Um, and just to give you kind of a sense on, you know, what we, what we saw when we started, um, a lot of retail is changing, right? brands are really coming into a new space and potentially not selling at third-party retailers maybe as much as they once were. So as we've kind of seen this progression and this change, Amazon's really been one of the players in the space that's um, completely taking over the digital landscape. And we're noticing a lot of these traditional retailers that we're all used to, the Sears's and JCPenney's of the world, um, they're either you know, going bankrupt or losing business or having to completely change their strategy. So Yapo's idea is in this changing world of you know, the digital landscape, how can we help brands that are coming into this new digital era, how can we help them differentiate, differentiate themselves through this idea of social proof? 
So knowing that maybe they, you can't have your customers go in and touch and feel your products in a store. Uh, maybe you only have an online presence. We want to make sure that, you know, as you're building out your brand, our products can be really complementary to that um, and add this idea and this um, authenticity and really help kind of drive home your brand messaging. So this idea of social proof, we do that through the content that we're generating. So this content is, of course, reviews that, you know, are is feedback from customers. Um, and photos, right? How can we make sure photos and videos, all this content that people are, are giving you as the brand, how can we showcase this on site to help increase conversions um, and to really make customers who are maybe new to your brand feel a connection to you? Um, and of course, you know, want to be a part of your community. So that's kind of the Yapo mission and where we see the retail landscape today. Um, we've noticed again, a lot of brands coming that have what we call digitally native brands. So movement watches, uh, Kylie Cosmetics, Third Love, and then we're also noticing a shift with the more established brands. So Bob's Discount Furniture, Steve Madden, these brands that are, you know, traditionally sold either in their own stores or at third-party retailers. Um, the idea here is that the future of retail is really all about brand commerce, and we're here to, you know, help brands accelerate that for themselves. So as we've kind of built out our products that I mentioned, reviews, visual marketing, loyalty and referrals, we're looking at ourselves in market as a, a, a marketing cloud. Um, we really do have a product suite that touches on the entire part of the customer journey. And that's what I'll walk you through today. Um, we'll kind of touch on how this content actually helps enhance um, all the different areas of your site. So whether that's um, the you know, search history, whether that once you're actually on the site, what we can do there. And then of course, how do we help brands get more customers um, and engage the ones that they already have? So that's where the loyalty piece comes in. What's really interesting, and I think a huge value prop of Yapo is the ability to have all these different products under one roof, um, one team with you know, the focus of your brand in mind. So keep that in mind as we go through. Um, I'm gonna touch briefly on our AI engine or our insights tool. So we've been building this out for over two years with our R&D team. And essentially what we're doing is looking at all the different review data that we're, we're gathering from customers, all this robust feedback. We have a lot of reviews amongst our 4,500 customers. So we take all these reviews and we're actually able to identify different topics that are being spoken about within them um, and assign what we call a, a sentiment analysis score. So this is all about natural language processing and the ability to really I understand these reviews at scale. So this is a tool that's really powering everything that we're doing, both behind the scenes and on site. Um, it will make a little more sense, I think, when I show you some examples of how we can actually deploy this from a customer lens. Um, but just know that we really have a, a powerful AI engine that's backing all the different uh, ways that we generate content and produce that content on site. Four ways that we help your clients um, so how, how will we help brands succeed? Um, this will become clear when we kind of talk through the examples, but keep these in mind throughout the presentation. Um, the first is traffic acquisition. So we play in the search and social space and use these star ratings and the social proof within that. Um, we also help, of course, with on-site conversion, making customers feel like they have a connection to your product and get some you know, understanding of how that product might fit into their lifestyle. Um, with our loyalty and referral programs, right, once we've converted a customer and they've purchased, how do we keep engaging them? Um, Yapo can really come in and help you determine, you know, what customers to go after um, with referral programs and, of course, incentivize your current customers who are spending the most with you to continue doing so. And then again, I mentioned that con the consumer insights tool that's really helping you understand all this great content that we're generating at scale. So the one area, uh, we started off as a reviews company, and I think the one piece of technology that's really been a game changer for us and continues to be um, is our in-mail technology. And it's really all about how we actually collect reviews. So I'm not sure who on the line has ever uh, received a Yapo review request email, but the really great piece about this is we're taking a lot of the, the legwork for the, for the uh, end user or the customer out of the process. So you'll notice here on the right, I've got Need Skincare. Um, this is actually someone going through and filling out their review request email directly in the body of the email. So you'll notice a few things. One, this is super uh, tailored to the brand's design and theme. We really want to make sure that you're getting the same customer experience that Need is trying to create here. 
Um, and the second is you're able to give a lot of information directly in the body of this email. So you can do this. This is mobile friendly. This is friendly on a desktop. Really doesn't matter where you're giving feedback. The idea is to make it easy so that brands can collect more feedback. We see anywhere between an 8 and 12% response rate on the uh, review request emails that we send out to our customers. Uh, the industry average is about 1% to 2%. So huge bump just by making make it really, really simple to give this um, content to brands. So outside of the customization, there's things we can do with questions. You'll notice skin type and hydration here. Um, you can get really creative and think about different ways to ask customers uh, for information that might be really helpful for you as a brand. Um, these will obviously vary by product and by brand, but just know that the uh, – review request email can be completely customized to fit your needs. And then on top of that, you can do things like incentivize customers. You can see on the bottom here uh, with different, you know, uh, offers or refer a friend programs. This can all be kind of lumped into the messaging that you design. And then additionally, we allow customers to submit photos of the products that they're reviewing. So as brands are getting really creative in ways to message to their customers, now we have a frictionless way to request feedback. Um, in the form of not only that really helpful review content, but also photos that you can then use on site. So all this content goes into the back end of our platform. Uh, you can you know, manage everything in one location and determine what you would like to be posted to site versus not. So you as the brand will have full flexibility in terms of the content that's actually visible on your site um, and can control what that looks like. So I'll, this will be my, my last slide for a bit, and then I'll hop into some live examples for you guys. Um, but I just would like to mention some of the areas that we um, can help enhance, the two being you know, social advertising on both Facebook and Instagram, and of course, email marketing. So we have some really robust integrations with both, both Facebook and Instagram. So if you're doing any sort of advertising on these platforms, uh, we're able to inject not only positive snippets of reviews, but also star ratings into your ads. So these can just, again, add that social proof right into your, your social advertisements. Uh, the same concept is at play with email marketing. So we have really great integrations with a lot of the different ESPs out there um, and can pass along the data that we're collecting and allow brands to access this and utilize it for their email marketing campaigns. So on the screen here, we've got an example of an abandoned car email. Uh, Yotpo is coming into play here with the, the five-star ratings from Aaron and Christian um, and a little snippet of the review that they wrote. So maybe I was thinking about these two cameras to purchase, and now I'm looking at these five-star ratings, and I say, okay, let's pull the trigger. So the idea behind all of this is, of course, to you know, help get people to convert a little bit quicker um, and add that social proof to make customers feel a little bit more comfortable with what they're seeing. So I'm going to hop off, and then I will go jump back to the slides and talk about the promo at the end. Um, but right now, I'm going to take you guys through the customer journey um, and get you kind of thinking about all the areas that this content can help play on site. So the first is search. Uh, we have a partnership with Google that allows all the content we're generating to be crawled and scanned um, and injected into the product listing ads and the Google seller ratings, as well as rich snippets. So we're adding these star ratings in, of course, if I search for something like Black Tan Watch, your eyes are going to be drawn to the products on the PLAs here that have the reviews. Um, a lot of these are Yapo customers, movement specifically here, um, over 6,000 reviews for these products. So the idea is, you know, have that social proof even directly from search um, and, of course, help enhance your SEO. This is an example of, you know, rich snippet here. Unfortunately, there are no stars showing up in this particular instance. We all know, I think, how Google works with that. But just know that because of our integration with Google, we're able to increase the convert or the click through rate rather for um, customers using Yapo between 17 to 34 percent. So huge increase in click through rate just by having these star ratings appear. One of the biggest uh, things that we tell our customers to do in terms of um, best practices is a dedicated review page. So if I type in uh, Pura Vita reviews here, find this review page, 
you'll notice this is just a data dump of all the different reviews that Pura Vida has generated. So the sole purpose of this page is to help with SEO. Um, this is not something that they have displayed on their site anywhere. And to you know, the average customer, this is probably not going to be too useful to go through 22,000 reviews. The sole purpose, again, is to you know, give one central location for all the content that you're generating um, so that Google can crawl that content and help get you higher up in those search rankings. So kind of thinking through the customer journey, maybe we saw something on search that we liked and we end up on a homepage. Um, this is an example of one of our clients, Sol de Janeiro. They're very popular and known for their Brazilian bum bum cream among some other products that they've continued kind of expanding their product suite. Um, and Yapo is, they're utilizing Yapo across the board on their site. Um, I love this initial page on their homepage. They have loved by you. These can you know, also be known as some bestsellers, but you'll notice all the reviews that they have generated for these products. Um, again, social proof directly on the home page that you're seeing as the customer. And then if we scroll down further, we'll notice this really pretty gallery here. Um, we have an integration with Instagram that allows us to connect brands to all this content that's already out there. So accessing photos that your customers are already posting or tagging you in, um, and then having the ability to create these galleries on site. So Sol de Janeiro has had full flexibility, not only with what goes on this page, but what the gallery looks like. You can see there's some videos at play. And as we kind of scroll through the products, what I think is really great is we're still staying on the homepage. We're not being taken away to Instagram. And on top of it, we're able to look through these photos and maybe see something we like and hit that shop now button and get us directly to that product page. So the idea again is to try to get you to a place where you feel comfortable with these products. Now I'm on the product page for the Coco Cabana cream. Let's check out some of the review content that they're generating. Um, and hopefully at the end of you know, looking at some of these reviews, I end up converting. Um, this is a great example of what the Yapo reviews widget looks like. You'll notice that you were still you know, on this product page here. It feel, looks and feels very on brand. And we kind of have two things going on here. Uh, the gallery on the first page was the homepage gallery. We've got a product page gallery here. Um, Sol de Janeiro, again, has selected all these photos. The only difference is now they're only the Coco Cabana cream because we are exactly where they want us to be. So that Shop Now button is gone. Um, and I'm able to look at not only the photos, but some information about the product. If I scroll down further, you can see they've edited, um, done some editing here to make sure that the review widget looks very on brand, same colors that match the site and all the branding. Really, really powerful and really, really important. We want to make sure we're not you know, putting a pop-up or anything in here. Um, I'm going to touch a little bit on the review content that you're generating and some cool things that Sol de Janeiro is doing. Um, again, we've got these terms here on the top. These are called our dynamic uh, filters. So all these words are going to dynamically update on their own as we generate more review content. So you'll notice we've got over 1,600 reviews on this particular product. Um, these are different topics that have been pulled out through our AI engine or that insights tool um, and are being placed on this page to help draw up those topics that customers are most, uh, most frequently speaking about within the reviews. So lots of different things to search here. Um, and if I click on say husband, for example, you'll notice it now pulls me down to the four reviews where husband is mentioned. So people are talking about their husband loves the scent and we can see that information here. On the bottom here, we've got ability, of course, to sort by star rating or reviews with images. Um, but also, when we collect that information from the mail after purchase, just like Need Skincare was doing, we have all these different questions that Sol de Janeiro asked their customers that purchased this cabana cream directly in that email. So they said, you know, they wanted to know about your age, your skin type. Um, so we can go through and filter through some of the reviews. Um, to focus on the things that from a customer standpoint are important to us. Maybe we have dry skin and we want something that was amazingly hydrating. So we can look at all the reviews um, that fit into that bucket of all the information that's important to us. So instead of reading through, you know, 1,600 reviews, we're able to just quickly get down to uh, the ones that are most relevant to our situation. So lots of different, uh, lots of flexibility here in terms of the types of questions that you can ask. And I think this is a really great example of how a brand can choose to showcase those questions on site. Kayla, um, this is super, super interesting, really, uh, particularly these 
um, what you're showing here about how your AI engine kind of grabs the topics that people are speaking about. I, I wasn't aware of that and I think it's really, really cool. So we received um, a question from one of our attendees. Um, I would like you to, to get, I guess, your answer. So they're asking, sure. what is the most creative request, the more creative request you've implemented on an email collecting reviews? And I think we can probably expand that to what you're talking here on, on a website because I would imagine most of the feasibility of doing this depends or customize it, well, depends on a couple of, of aspects, but maybe you can speak to some of those. Sure, so the question, Maria, if I'm understanding is, how are we able to, or what do we recommend in terms of like types of questions to ask customers? I guess the question is more oriented to what is the most complex type of implementation request you've received so, so people can know how, how fancy and how creative they can get uh, when it comes to customizing the look and feel of this. Got it, Makes yeah, sense. so it, the, yeah, I think so. So the review widget that we're seeing here has just some basic CSS editing um, to kind of play with that look and feel. We do have a template editor, uh, which is another tool at your disposal that will allow you to really completely customize uh, the look and feel of the reviews. I will show you an example of someone who's completely changed the look and feel of our review widget. This is a company called The Black Tux. Uh, they're going through and you can see this is what they have on their product page for the reviews it looks very different to what we're seeing on Pol de Janeiro. Um, they've, you know, gone in, they've got some featured reviews here and they've gone in and completely changed, you know, the look and feel. They have taken into account some of the questions they've asked, but presented them in a different way, quality fit, service. Um, but the idea here is you can get very, very creative when it comes to editing the widget. Um, I'll show you a more out of the box example too, so you can see a very, very basic one that still looks and feels part of the site. Um, so this is a, a coffee scrub by Frank Body, and they have a, a pretty standard review widget here. They've changed out um, some of the colors here and they've got the review filters. They're not doing anything with custom questions right now, but you'll notice still looks and feels like it's part of Frank Body and not something else. Does that help answer the question? Yes, and I guess probably what I, what I would be curious with that is, can we get a, or can you guys get us creative on, on an email, like what you were showing a, a little earlier in the presentation? Mm. Yeah, so there's more... a lot that you can do with the emails. You can add, on the bottom of that need skincare email, we saw um, them asking for showing like the referral program within the email. I've seen people actually um, include coupon codes or offer incentives to say, hey, if you leave a review, we'll send you a 20% off coupon. So it, it adds another touch point into that customer journey um, and also gives them even more of a reason to give you the feedback outside of it's really easy to submit. Awesome, thank you. I would you. say I it definitely depends on the, the different brand that you're looking at um, and what you're trying to you know, get out of the, the email, but there's a lot of different ways that you can, can customize. Cool, cool. Thank you, Kayla. You can keep going. For sure. <laughs> Sorry to cut you. Okay. No, thank you for flagging the question. I can't, I can't see them the way I have my screen shown right now. So if anything else comes up, jump in. Cool. So we covered the review widget. I'm going to um, just show you a very cool, another cool way that you can interpret the visual marketing suite. So again, visual marketing suite is our connection to Instagram, allowing you to grab all these great photos like Bill de Janeiro did here. Um, photos and, and videos, I should say, uh, directly from Instagram. And then, of course, you can also add uh, collect photos directly in the review request email. So maybe incentivize shoppers to do that. Uh, Steve Madden has kind of taken this a step further and created this gallery page. Uh, if I scroll down, you'll notice it just continues to load and all these photos are user generated. So that idea of social proof, I think, is really apparent here. Um, so maybe I see someone who looks and feels like me and I want to click on this photo or I wanna see these shoes, right? All the products are gonna be tagged. So they've gone through and tagged their products to make it really easy to get down to that information. And I just thought this was a very creative way to uh, utilize the, the photo content that they're generating and showcase it all in one spot. So we saw it on a homepage, a product page, and then just kind of a, a different use case for you guys to see. That wraps up the review and uh, visual marketing portion. 
I know we are running out of time here, so I'm going to jump right into loyalty. Um, so, like I mentioned, we acquired Swell back in August of last year, and that's really what's powering all of our loyalty programs. Um, we have kind of developed this blueprint, and I'll make sure this is sent out in any follow-ups so you guys can take a look at, you know, read through some of the details. But the idea here is what we're realizing just in the, the retail space is loyalty programs are becoming something that brands need to have. Uh, there's a lot of logos on this screen. Not all of these are Yapo customers. Uh, but just to give you a sense on, you know, the retail landscape we're living in, you need to find a way and a strategy to really engage customers and do so in a way that's going to keep them coming back and also get them to talk to their friends about you, right? Get, get those referrals in. Um, and that, I think, still plays off the idea of social proof. I think we're much more trusting if we, you know, find a cool brand or a cool product from a friend than if the brand is maybe just advertising to us. Um, so, like I said, I'll make sure this is in the, uh, the follow-ups for you to read, just some of our ideas on, on loyalty. But in a nutshell, we're really trying to hone in on this idea that loyalty programs need to be flexible and fluid, and they need to be really customized for each brand. There has to be a strategy involved. Uh, loyalty and referrals, it's not just a quick plug-in, right? You need to think about what are your goals, and then how can you create incentives to match those goals? So I'll show you guys two programs today um, that I think do a really good job encompassing all the things that we can do uh, with our loyalty and referral products. So this is RMS Beauty. I'm just on the homepage here to give you a sense on their, you know, their kind of look and feel of their site. And if I click over to RMS Rewards, um, you'll notice this is the loyalty page uh, created by Yapo. So it's embedded in the site. It's part of the site. All the programs are going to be built um, on the back end on an SDK to allow you to really have full flexibility in terms of look, feel, design, all that great stuff. Uh, again, we really want to make sure that we're not disrupting that customer experience and that brand, that branding that you know you work so hard to get. So. RMS Beauty, uh, obviously a beauty company, they are creating this rewards program. They've called it RMS Rewards. They're making it really easy for you to understand what, what you have to do in the program. You join, you're a member, uh, you earn points, and then you redeem those points. So they're taking a relatively transactional approach um, in you know, keeping their, their customers engaged, uh, which I think makes great sense for the types of products that they're selling. There are a lot of different ways that we can incentivize customers to earn points. Um, we have 15 pre-built actions on the back end. RMS is using quite a few of these here um, and just giving you a sense of different things you can incentivize customers with, so whether that's welcome points or different um, social sharing on Instagram and Facebook, maybe a birthday treat, and of course, writing a review. Um, we also can do things, and I think this is a really powerful one, but points for dollars spent. Uh, so you can run different campaigns. The holidays are coming up, Black Friday. Um, you can, you know, I'm sure RMS will run some sort of promotion during that time frame where they'll have $1 spent, maybe be five SWIFT points or 10 SWIFT points. You have full flexibility in terms of not only what actions you choose to reward customers for, but kind of the metrics behind those actions and how, um, how you want to pull down to this information. So just to give you a sense on different things you can do. Um, I also like to show RMS because of their VIP tiers. So Tiered programs, I think, especially in beauty, are becoming um, very, very important. Reason being, we want to make sure we're increasing that customer lifetime value. So if we can, you know, identify what that looks like and then add tiers to help people bump up to different um, brackets, that's exactly the goal of what we're doing here with the SWIFT points. Um, and you'll notice they give you kind of a clear outline of all the different things that you're getting for being part of each you know, each tier within the program. So free standard shipping is a, a great perk if I, you know, spend 200 to, four, 200 to $500, more than $500 unlocks everything. So again, they went in with Yapo and really designed um, not only, you know, the strategy behind this, but some of the different um, incentives that they were working for with their customers. I just want to sign into this page so you can see how it changes. Keep in mind, this is a test account, but just so you can see, um, that the page is dynamic. So you can go in and log into your account, see how many points you have. This for them in particular unlocks their referral program. So give 15, get 15, of course, with this protection of having to purchase, you know, $75 or more worth of products, really, really strong for the brand. Um, and we make it super simple for customers to share this content. So um, you can, you know, enter your friend's email. We're already logged into our account, send it that way. Uh, maybe copy a link. There's all sorts of different sharing buttons here on social. 
Um, and again, if you log on to the site on your mobile phone, it's also going to be mobile friendly. We've got some tracked referrals here, a reminder of the tiers. So just to give you a sense on what these programs can look like, I'm going to show you one more here. We've got Third Love. Um, they are a bra and lingerie company, and they came to us wanting to design a loyalty and referral program. But the one thing they said was they wanted something that was going to be um, more around an exclusivity play. They didn't want to do what RMS was doing and give points for dollar spent. Um, they were kind of the, the anti Victoria's Secret, if you will. Uh, they wanted to make sure that they rewarded their customers and created this community, but didn't necessarily, you know, give a ton of different um, discounts. So we designed this program with them called Hooked Rewards. Um, they also took a tiered approach, which I think is really, really interesting here. We knew what their average um, customer lifetime value was. We wanted to, you know, think about different ways that we could increase this. So they've created admirer, enthusiast, and devotee, again, showcasing the benefits here and the different levels. Um, but obviously, this looks and feels very different than RMS Beauty, right? You wouldn't know necessarily, unless you, you check on the back end here, that, um, that these, two, these two brands have loyalty programs designed by, by Yappa, right? There's no recognition of that. We're not a pop-up. Um, and it looks and feels really seamless and, again, part of the site. They've got a, uh, re a referral program here as well. Um, I just want to open an incognito window here so I can show you if I had never um, submitted anyone for Third Love before, what that would look like. So share the love and earn. They're going to give $15 for every friend we refer. So how are we tracking that? That's what I thought the first time I saw this. Um, we enter our email first so we know who we are. And what I think is cool that they're doing is they don't have you log in. So RMS, they have you log into to the program to refer friends. Third Love just has, you know, you could log on to this now and refer friends to their site. But similar concept here with entering emails or, again, sharing on social and maybe copying a link and sending it to a group chat um, or, you know, sending it to some uh, via SMS here. So the, the key takeaway, I think, with, with loyalty and referrals is that you want to have a program that can grow and change with you. And Yapo really does create programs that have that fluidity. So once you start off, we'll sit down and, and design um, a specific strategy for your brand. Uh, make sure that all the different actions that you want to reward customers for um, can be facilitated. And then all the information that we're generating uh, through the loyalty programs can, of course, integrate with your ESPs for email marketing campaigns. You can pull out various segments of shoppers, maybe send different communications to enthusiasts versus devotees. Um, and then really powerful on the back end, you'll also be able to see the ROI that your program is generating. So we take that into account. I think it's a really powerful tool, especially when you're investing in a program like this. So Kayla, if I, I got that right. I will stop there for the sake of time. Yeah, can I, I just have a question on the last part you said about ROI. So just to confirm, you're saying someone having Yapto can like log in into their dashboard and if they have these type of programs implemented, see those type of metrics in there, right? Exactly, yeah. And we're currently making some enhancements to the back end of the dashboard too. Um, but when you log in, what you would see is, you know, your value generated um, and your program cost. And within that program cost, it's going to take into account not only what you're paying for the contract with Yapo, but also things like the dollar points for dollar spent. Those points have a monetary value that's costing the customer, right? Um, the free underwear that Third Love is offering, that has a monetary value. So all the different incentives that you're giving to engage people, we're taking into account the cost of that and then everything you're earning from the program. So you're able to go in and kind of slice and dice the metrics and really get a sense of what's working and what's not. Awesome. Yeah, and, and for a merchant, that's like super helpful because at the, at the end of the day, well, that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> Exactly. And you have to be able to go back and, and say, you know, this worked or this didn't and adjust and course correct as you go. Awesome. So I guess, is there any more examples that you want to show or is this pretty much it? I just want to confirm. 
Yeah, that kind of wraps it up. Um, unless there are any other questions, I'm happy to, to stay on the line and, and get some answers for you guys. Mm, let me check. No, I'm, I think that will be it for now. Uh, I don't see any more questions. Maria, I do have, okay, cool. I do have one more thing before I forget. Um, oh, yeah, sure. I do you want to also ahead. mention... Yeah, I do want to also mention just a, a promotion that um, we're offering for the Commerce Fund community. So again, thank you guys very much for taking the time to join today. Um, if any of the products that we talked about are of interest, we are um, extending a promotion that we're running uh, for this quarter, offering 20% off any bundled package. So that would be you know multiple products, whether it's reviews and visual marketing or reviews and loyalty. Um, or 10% off a standalone. Maybe you know it's time to get reviews up on your site uh, or you want to create a referral program, whatever it is. Uh, if this promotion is at all of interest, you can reach out to me directly and I'm happy to, to discuss and get you set up. No, super appreciated, Kayla. Thank you. And uh, I know our community will appreciate it a lot more. Um, so the people who attended today will have the recording, will have access to this. Just expect to hear from us if someone's interested. Perfect, thank you so much. Great, so now, again, thank you for your time, your insights. Um, just one last thing I would want to show before leaving. So, you know, just wrapping up here, our information, our website, for anyone who's still not part of the community uh, or is interested to uh, dig deeper into this. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be sharing the recording. Um, so if you're not a member already, join. please join the Commerce Blend community uh, for invitations for future events and discussions like this, um, as well as access to insightful resources, discounts, promotions. So it was a pleasure having you all here. Um, have a great weekend and bye. Thanks, Maria, and thanks everyone. Enjoy the weekend. Cool, bye.